Yeah, hi everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, my little shed. Um, today's project is to turn this piece of beach, which is approximately 12 inches by 2 inches deep, uh, into a platter. Um, what I intend to do is once I've cut the set, well, do the reverse of the platter, the base of the platter first, and then I'm going to ebonize this side, um, put a border, a black border around the uh, rim and also around the rim of the uh, bowl and um, probably then put some paint around the border um, I'm thinking of using just one colour probably a gold colour against the black to see how it stands out the great thing about this is if it doesn't work you can just uh, cut it off and start again but we'll see how it goes so uh, stick with it and let's see what we end up at the end okay cheers <laughs>
Well, that's the back done. Um, as you can see, it's got a nice shape to it underneath. It's probably not very clear on there. What I'm going to do now is uh, fit this back into the chuck, obviously fasten it underneath. And then this thick edge, I'm going to taper down from the centre so it ends up being about an eighth of an inch thick. Okay, and then we'll decide on the design, how we're going to paint it and uh, finish it off. Okay, thanks. Okay, so this centerpiece here, I'm not bothered about it being uh, higher than the rest of the rim because that's going to be gouged out eventually and that'll be the bowl inside. It's just getting a nice smooth finish to this and uh, a nice surface to be able to paint on. Just a little bit more work. I'm quite happy with that, so uh, I'm going to leave it like that and then I'm going to sand it down to a nice smooth finish. Probably sand it down to about 240 grit um, and then give it a coat of ebonising lacquer. Okay. Okay, see you in half an hour. Hi, morning everybody. Um, bit of a long 30 minutes. Uh, came back in last night and decided to give uh, the platter a second coat of uh, ebonising lacquer. Uh, I had to leave that to dry and by that time it was too late to come in and do any work so uh, it's now the next day. Uh, today what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to mark the borders out on the outside edge and the inside edge and then the bit in between I will paint. I've decided to go just with a gold paint and put it on probably with a tissue or something like that to give sort of a random um, effect. Don't know how it's going to turn out, never do. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. If it doesn't work, as I say, I can just cut it off and uh, start again. So uh, yeah, that's what the plans are and uh, hopefully it will only take a couple of hours or so to get this almost finished. Uh, the longest time is taken up by waiting for things to dry. Uh, it's not the cutting out and all that, it's just waiting for it to dry. Most of the things you put on are at least half an hour to an hour drying time. And if you need two or three coats, the time soon racks up. So uh, we'll see what we get done. I'm going away this afternoon, um, so see how far I get before uh, I have to finish. Okay, enjoy the vid. Cheers. Just need to get rid of a few rough edges around these uh, grooves here. Let's get a nice smooth effect. It's easier to do it now than it is when uh, I started to paint. Uh, 
there. So the paint I'm using is the uh, Joe Sonia gold iridescent paint. Uh, it's what I use on most of my uh, platters and bowls and what have you. Um, the strange thing about this is it goes on white and then just changes colour. Um, so yeah, really weird. But uh, the more you mix it on the actual platter, the more the gold comes out. I'm going to try and put some on just with a tissue, see what effect I get. If it doesn't work, I'll wipe it off and uh, start again. Let's give it a go. trying to get a pretty random effect and the harder you press the more the gold comes out if you don't press hard then uh, it tends to stay a bit white and I don't want that so okay let's leave that to dry I don't want to overdo it Try and clean up some of this overspill on the edges. We can always uh, repaint that in the black. But uh, yeah, pretty good. Okay, I'll leave that for a few minutes and then uh, come back and uh, have a look, see what we think, and. Uh, I had to give it a varnish or put some more on, or another colour even. Okay, cheers. Hi, well it's uh, half an hour later, this is dried. Um, and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to leave it as it is, I quite like this effect. Um, it's what I was aiming for initially, I didn't want to overdo it with too many colours or whatever. I wanted the black to be part of the design as well, so I'm quite pleased with that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it um, two or three coats of varnish. Now they take about half an hour or so to dry, so when I come back um, it will be two or three hours later um, and then what I'll do is I'll take out the centre and that's when you really get the effect of the bowl and then I'll have to varnish that and clean it up and everything else. So yeah, bear with me and um, let's see what happens. Alright, well it's uh, an hour or two later, um, giving this now three coats of uh, lacquer, got a nice finish on there, nice and smooth, no runs or anything like that. So uh, what I'm going to do now is take out the centre of the bowl, um, then finish it, um, probably with a, a wax, a food safe wax, amateur sheen, something like that, and um, that should be the job done. Okay, so uh, let's get on with it.
Hi, well that's the platter finished. Um, quite pleased with the way it's come out. Um, got the effect that I wanted really. Um, nice finish to it. So, as you can see that's the underneath. It's been waxed. And then the top. I've used a Hampshire Sheen wax in the centre. Um, that's a food safe type of wax, so it's quite safe to put any food on and what have you. Very pleased with the way the colours came out. I think it was a good idea just to use the uh, the one colour, the gold. Uh, may do a few more like this with just one colour. Anyway, I'll put a few stills up and uh, you can see what it looks like. hope you enjoyed the video. If so, just give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, press the subscribe button and uh, really appreciate it. Okay, thanks very much. Bye.